so it seems love is in the air and you either find it adorable or atrocious. There is no in between. Hey guys, Madison Monroe here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a glam Valentine's extreme euphoria-esque type look. Um, so I'm wanting to review a palette. Uh, do a Valentine's Day look and enter a Valentine's Day makeup competition with said look. Um, and I'll let you know how it goes. So the palette I'm going to try, I got the two palettes uh, from Morphe. Where is it? This is the other one and I'm going to do a separate video on this. But the Just Say Zen palette, the nine pans. And then having to put stuff... My area is getting a little cramped again. And then I have the Call Me Baby palette right here. And that's kind of what we're going to test. I feel like it's pink, very Valentine's Day-ish, um, and kind of cute. Like, this is her. We love it. Look at those little shimmers. Um, we have a few in there. There's like two that's kind of like pink and has like a little bit of glitter in it. We might swatch them. Let's swatch them. Um, so I'm going to do three at a time. And these are just like one, like finger swatches. That's the first one. And it kind of worries me because I don't want like the bad formula. Because if you know Morphe, you know there is a good and a bad formula. So, so far you can really see that shimmer. I'm going to go in with the second dose of these pinks to really kind of brighten them up so you can see them. These will definitely be something you need to layer on. Love that for me. Um, and it really disappoints me that this little light pink right here is not showing up that well because it's actually really pretty. It has little flecks in there of like shimmer. And then we have this kind of dark, I don't know. It's kind of like a brown pink. And she shows up, look at her. Okay, um, I'm gonna go wipe my hands because I should have thought this through and had something to wipe them on and then I will do the other colors real quick. So we're back, we're kind of in the middle of the palette. I'm gonna do these two shades that are in the middle. And this is another one, this one right here. I don't know if you can see those little shimmers in it. Oh, it's so pretty. I really hope, oh yeah, that's, that's the best. You cannot see the shimmers on camera though. Oh, you can kind of see them and they're so pretty. And then I have these which i will be honest these like metallic -y shimmer moments are the best thing on the planet also that this one stained my finger so it's gonna stain my eyes and that's okay a lot of darker colors stain my eyes very easy and i've come to terms with this i'm putting them out of order now um that is this little dark moment right there i'm gonna double layer it real quick just to kind of see what it looked like a little deeper. Okay. So far it's kind of looking like... That one's stained as well. Um, but it's looking like that very first row of the really light stuff. Um, probably didn't do the best. And I mean that in a way that like it doesn't show up too much. That you really need to like pat it in. And here is this little dark, deep purple moment. Which... I think I need to get my eyes checked because I thought these both were like browns and I guess this one is a little bit closer to a brown but I thought that was a brown and that's a purple. So that being swatched we're gonna do an eye look trying to make it very pink Valentine's Day. Mm. We love a good swatch storm. So it's a good thing I'm wearing sleeves and I don't have to like cut and then go wash my hand. I'll just do that later. Um, but my eyes, everything's already kind of set up. We've already like primed and stuff. So it's really just, we're going to do a makeup look. So I started this and I didn't really like the direction. So I am backtracking. This eye looks a little pink because it had some pink on it a minute ago. So, and it stains. <laughs> I hate to break it to y'all. Pink stains my eyes. So no matter how hard I try until I actually like go back in this foundation and a bunch of other stuff on it, it's going to be pink. I just didn't like the way it was looking. So we're going to start over. I am taking this hot pink. I'm going to do just a light to dark pink look. Very simple, very easy. Will turn out very beautiful. 
Um, so we're taking this. I don't have like a really flat brush, so I'm just taking it and I'm gonna do my edge and kind of bring it in because this edge is going to be just the bright little pink moment. And we're gonna work our way in. I'll have like the new pink and then I'll have the very light pink and it'll just all blend together. But I like to just make sure that my shaping is right and that it's looking how we want it to. But having hooded eyes makes it very difficult for me. But I think it's starting to look the way we're needing it to. So I'm gonna take just this like baby pink basically. I'm just gonna dap it in and start blending it into the hot pink. And we're gonna go maybe up into like here. And then the light pink will be towards the inner corner. And we're just gonna take it and start just going ham. Taking this light shimmery pink at the very top, we're going to dab that into the inner crease and we're going to blend that into the baby pink and just really get in there, build up that base and the blend. So we have a nice little pink ombre moment. Um, trying to get some excess dust off of my brush because I don't change them out like I'm supposed to. Um, I went in with some concealer and that is what I kind of shaped it a little bit better with as I'm slowly messing it up. Um, but yeah, so we have this look kind of going. Um, I am going to take this little dark plum color, go underneath my eyes with it, kind of give us a different pop of color for that underneath eye. So it's not just kind of all pink, but it has a little bit of extra kind of color with it, but still a little bit deep. Um, and I think I'm going to go in with this little light pink, kind of in the inner corner, but not necessarily up the look. It kind of lightens that inner area, but it's not necessarily like a glitter shiny moment for that entire area. And I think I'm going to use... I think this hot pink right here and I want to dab that towards the end but I'm also going to kind of dab it in the center as well. I don't necessarily need it to be a glitter look but I want it to have just a little pop of something in there. So you can see it's just a little bit of a little bit of pink kind of in some areas but that glitter is kind of the main focus. I wanted it to kind of be a little bit more of a a mattish look with just a little bit of like pop um that being said i'm gonna go off camera real quick do my highlight and stuff which actually let's see how good these colors highlight real quick it's not a too dark tone i think that's a good little moment right there really is a good contrast between the matte and then the little shimmer moment between the brow and the look. Okay, I did not think this was going to go that good considering it is the second time of me doing it. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to go off camera real quick, do a mascara, um, a lash and the other eye and stuff. That'll just be off camera and then we'll do the smaller details whenever I come back. Now, I'm gonna go in with the little tiny details. We have this, it did come together. It, it was a, a work, um, but I wanna add some little, little spice. Cause again, this is not just a glam thing. If you really want the glam, then glam. Um, but it's also a look that I'm trying to do kind of extreme for a makeup competition. So we have this. Um, I have these little pearls that I'm going to incorporate in the eye look and like a freckle moment. And then I have these I got from Senorita Lashes. It is like these little tiny hearts, glitter confetti type thing. Um, I also am using the Yummy Lashes from Senorita Lashes. They're great. I love the brand. I just want to shout them out real quick. Um, and I don't have like an adhesive. I mean, I do, but it's lash glue and it's 
black and I don't want to leave like little black dots all over my face so we're gonna use this gloss to kind of stick it on because it's a very sticky gloss I'm nervous <laughs> so first we're just gonna do the pearls um there's these tiny medium and big ones and I want to use the tinier ones and I want to kind of place them in the inner corners and kind of like put them where the pink is as they don't stick oh my goodness it might be that I need to stick these on with adhesive okay girl let's do this let's stay on we'll see if they don't stick on I will just have to go in and do it later because these are not actually like you know festival like little stick-ons these are just some ones that I found that I thought would be cute in a moment and we'll see if they actually are but I went through a lot of different designs and I just went with this one which needs to even out my goodness girl Ugh. it's so strange to try to make them even I think that's as close as we're gonna get for right now. I'll probably fiddle with them later. So I fully scrapped the pearl freckle idea. I feel like there was just a lot going on while I wait for that kind of gloss to kind of blend in a little bit. I'm just kind of patting it down so it's not as shiny. But I think this will look really cute in pictures and shine is nothing but a minor detail. So again, used a little bit of the Senorita Lashes confetti type thing and now I'm gonna go in with a lip I really want it to be bright and pink so I'm gonna go in with this one this is an oldie but a goodie from NYX or NYX however you want to say it it's just this bright pink lipstick and so I'm just gonna go in trying to fix my lip shape. I'm gonna go in just one more time just to fill out that color and then we're gonna have a gloss. We are using a Perfusion uh, Mean Girls gloss. Now that I'm done taking Beauty Bakery we're just gonna set the look. This is my favorite setting spray. So this is the final crazy Valentine's Day look. My accent slipped out in that last clip and I just could not handle it at that point. Um, it is a bit intense, but it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be really crazy looking. Um, I actually kind of like it. I really like just the eye makeup, just that little blend right there. Chef's kiss. And because it's the end, um, where is that palette? This is actually a pretty decent palette. Like, I actually really like this. I'm very excited that I did buy this, and I'm very excited to try the uh, Be More Zen or whatever one. That's like the kind of bluish version. This is a good palette. I genuinely enjoy this palette. Also, let's see. Hmm, give myself a little bit of a pink nose right there. Gonna just pink it up a little bit. Okay. But yeah, that's the end of the video. This is a pretty good palette. I have. It's a hit or a miss for me for these uh, nine pan palettes. I have enjoyed them. This is the one like Morphe variant, I guess, that I really like because the nine pan palettes have actually kind of hit most of the time that I've used them. Most of the colors that I've used have been really good um, and I generally like them. So check it out if you want to. Uh, but that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching this crazy, crazy look. I'm going to try to do the gore valentine's day because i always try to do for holidays a gore and a glam look um this like is bothering me okay better um <laughs> that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching if you made it this far into the video um leave a like comment subscribe if you're new here and you like makeup and you like all that jazz um if you're not new here turn on the bell so you know about every time i upload which is every wednesday and friday and i will see y'all next time have a happy valentine's day galentine's day whatever you want to celebrate or celebrate the day after that's what i do because there's like really cheap candy and it's amazing so that being said i will see y'all next time